obviously we have to play differently uh, on the offensive end. We uh, spread people out last year, had a very efficient offensive team. Um, that being said, I thought we, we had a poor defensive team. We really struggled on the defensive end. We did a good job taking care of the basketball, number one in the country in few was turnovers. Um, we were in the top ten in the country in offensive efficiency. Um, and if we could have you know, been a little bit better on the defense, then I thought we could have been a really good team. With that being said, we were in a pretty good position in the NCAA tournament. I thought we could have made a deeper run, uh, but we stubbed our toe there the last couple minutes against Kansas. But, you know, transition into this year, we, we obviously have a lot of size. Um, I think Jay Simpson, for us, is probably a little bit of a wild card. So he didn't play in Italy. He was hurt. Um, but a very talented guy that can dribble, pass, and shoot. Where he kind of gets in that mix as a four and a five uh, could add a lot of depth to it. Uh, Donnie Hale has done a very good job of bringing energy and rebounding and uh, had a good trip. Uh, A.J. Hammonds gives you a, you know, a space eater along to go along with Sandy um, in, in the post, and guys that can rebound the basketball. And he, he's a, as a talented kid in terms of you know being able to pass, being able to block shots, understanding what's going on. And then Jacob Lawson brings a lot of athleticism to the table. And Travis Carroll's had a very good first couple weeks here at practice. He's done a very good job, played very hard, is in shape, and uh, has made a lot of improvements. So we have a very deep, um, but yet unproven uh, front court. So the plan a lot different than having just a, you can have a skilled four in terms of shooting, but we had one that could dribble pass and shoot. You know, he was just like a big guard out there. And so not a lot of people have had a guy like that. But we're going to be more traditional, kind of an old school Big Ten team with a couple bookend type big guys. Close to it. It's easier to run it with a, a more mobile, um, skilled guy. So we'll, we'll run, you know, motion, but we'll run different things. We've always ran sets and also motion. So it's not just been traditionally um, just motion. So uh, we'll have to do some things differently um, in terms of our offense, you know, for those guys. We've always incorporated some ball screen stuff. Um, we've always screened away from the ball. You know, last year what we didn't get was we just didn't get any post-ups. And, and now we'll obviously post up a lot more and play through our big guy. Anytime we've had a traditional big, you know, Carl Landry, uh, Jawan Johnson, I wouldn't say he's traditional, but you can still at the end of his career, you can throw him the ball and get a basket. I think that's an obvious statement. But um, anytime you have some, some guys that can score down there, um, it's very, very important that they get touches. Even if they don't shoot the basketball, being able to play inside out. Here's a crazy one for you. You've got two AJs, a DJ, an RJ, a TJ, and a J. How do you keep all the you have different nicknames for the players or what? Yeah, you call some by their last name. You call obviously others uh, by their first name. Then uh, you got big AJ, you got little AJ. Obviously, you got DJ. So they, they all kind of turn um, a little bit. So you got to use last names and just get a try to get their attention. So. Well, we've been pretty deep in the backcourt, and, and right now I like our pieces, but we're not we're not extremely deep like we've been. Um, so if you look at Ronnie, Terrell, and Anthony, and then you look at DJ and Ray, um, those five guys in three positions, which is very doable, but we all know, you know, injuries always play a part. Something always seems to happen. And so now if you have four guys in that slide, Drew Anthony has really made a lot of improvements. You know, he would be our next guy um, right there. And in, uh, in that type of rotation, so um, you know they're just being competitive. I, I think he's trying to learn from those guys, and at times, you know, he's also competing with those guys. So it's one of those things where your teammates help you, um, but you're also trying to battle, you know, for minutes and also trying to start. So he's, um, you know, a guy that's put himself in position um, to be right there. But you know, Tyrone's kind of a combo. So he plays both slots. We really only have one true point guard in Ronnie Johnson. Um, Anthony's played probably more point guard than Tyrone in practices. So, you know, but you, you never know. It just depends. Some people are zoning you. Some people won't pressure you. Um, so it's not that big a deal. But when people do, you need some people that are at, at the worst outside of Ronnie that are serviceable in terms of being, a, you know, kind of that quintessential point guard.